Everything's just gone wrong. Bear with me a sec. Right. There we go. I think we got it. <laughs> I think we're stable. <laughs> oh dear. What a flav. What a for love. <clears throat> right. So, welcome to my belated stream of uh, Survive the Nights. Now, this game, obviously, it's uh, on offer at the minute in Steam for uh, literally like three pounds, a couple of quid. And uh, before we get started, I was having a little uh, play around uh, last night. And I noticed some interesting things about the game. It's um, it's joined up with uh, Steam Workshop, um, and that's how it gets its games created. So here we go. So let me just give you a quick rundown. So obviously installed, I have, as you can see, um, default, start here, survive the night. You've got official servers. Okay, well, official downloads, not actual servers, but actual downloadable games. So you've got a tutorial. You've got Nazi Zombies, and you've got Night of the Living Dead. Um, and obviously, they are all different game modes, have all different objectives and that throughout the uh, game as well. Then you have, obviously, stuff that people have created, which is I thought was quite, uh, quite good. And uh, I was actually scrolling through, and there's like The Walking Dead. You've got seven days to try. You know, there's a lot of a lot of different uh, game modes that you can choose from, and they're all cooperative. They're all like multiplayer as well. And um, but obviously, this is your default one that you start with. So that's what I'm going to be showing you today. Uh, this game came out in uh, 2017, so it's been out for a little while. And yeah, it's actually uh, I was actually quite quite happy with it. So I'm going to leave everything as standard, so you get to see what the standard play is. Um, oh, music was way too loud. <laughs> oh dear. So I found out what the problem was as well with my stream. Basically, um, I think it's my graphics card and me on PC. I think it's finally given up. Uh, so I'm using all coded software from the actual PC itself now to run it. So hopefully it's all right. I've never used the standard software before, so it should hopefully be fine because I don't use it for anything else apart from Googling and streaming. So let's see how we get on. Now, this game does take a little bit to load because it has to generate a world uh, with everything in it as well. Uh, it does have full uh, full controller support as well. Um, this one's for you, Gamma. You can't build in the game, but you can fortify. So if you find a house that you like, you can fortify it. There you, go. you can see a picture there, actually. Um, and it's not just like sticking fences around and pillars and that around as well. You can board up the windows, you can padlock the doors, you can do pretty much everything. Um, and that's what we'll run through at the minute because this is like a little tutorial which I'll go through with you because you have to prepare for the horde. Um, oh, this is interesting. I've actually started somewhere different to what I did when I played it last night. So I'll give you a quick view. Oh, there's that's what I mean about the lock slot. So you can put lock, lock. You can lock there, and you can lock there, and it just adds to the security of obviously zombies breaking in. Uh, so here we are. Um, obviously, you search everything you can for wood supplies. Uh, barbecue coming soon. <laughs> ah, thanks, uh, thanks, Gamma. That is good. I've got the stream up myself as well, so it's more the fact of it dropping off and stopping and cutting out. Well, I'm worried about because 
I normally use the graphics card, but I'm going to have to go re straight through uh, Steam um, Streamlabs and see what I can restart on it after I've done. Um, obviously, you've got electrical meters, and with these, you can actually use extension cords, as you can see. You can interact, and you can power stuff outside. You can power stuff inside. Um, we also have uh, nothing in the dryers. No, no one's left me any clothes. Anything in the fridge? No, we've got nothing in the fridge. So this is my my resources. So this is the resources I have. This is all my bits and bobs. Then we've got crafting, and then we've got obviously you got your guide as well. So what we need to do. Um, this is what's in the kitchen cabinet. Uh, obviously, it doesn't really have anything in it. Um, it's just a starter house. You wake up here, and this is how it is. Uh, we open up the door. There we go. So nothing really outside. Um, no, nothing around there. So let's get in and uh, let's start fortifying this house. Right, so... Oh, we got some flare rounds. Dryers. Just search everything at the minute and see if we can actually find anything worth using. I suppose push comes to shove, we can hide in the bathroom. Um, obviously, if you get any canteens or anything, you can fill them up from the uh, sink. I think that's everything in this house searched. Oh, we've got some more flare, flare ammo there. Right, so we do need to craft a few things. So what we got, so we can craft a, a wooden club, uh, a sleeping bag, which is obviously good. We've got some bandages, um, heavy steel, Swiss and axe. So we need, we need some more bits and bobs. Let's go and see if the neighbor's got anything. Um, you'll be happy to know if a car isn't burnt out like this, uh, you can get it working. Um, and there's quite a few when I did my last run. Right. Ah, some scrap. Here we go. This is what we want. Okay. God, these houses have lots and lots of rooms. Oh, balcony, back outside. Oh, that actually hurt. Right, do we have anything else? Ah, another place over here. Oh, a couple of places over here. This could be promising. Now, what made it a bit different for me was during the day, you don't really see much. You don't really see those zombies because they like to hide in the shadows. 
Um, so obviously it gives you plenty of time to search around. Obviously places like this, I'm guessing there might be something inside. Just have to be a bit more careful. Shops, so we actually have food, some cat food, some dog food. Why not? A watering can, okay. There we go. Nothing in the plastic cooler. That's a fire barrel, which, if you add wood to it, you can cook stuff. Let's go and see what's over here. Ah, some more cars. Got some scrap metal. Some more metal. Nice. Right. Right, we can craft an axe now, that's good. And a canteen. And a hammer. And some nails. Uh, and some planks. Let's do some more bandages. Right. Right, so now I have an axe, uh, which is good. So all you lovely people out there that love cutting down trees, you'll be happy to know uh, this game is one of them. They actually have markers a lot of where you need to hit. And then you can really lay into it. So a bit more realistic. We got timber. There we go. And then we'll chop this up as well. There we go. Alright, so we've got logs look. There we go. is full that's fine right I'm trying to think of the best place to fortify myself what time is it do we have a time um, day one it doesn't actually tell me the time we've got wooden club we have a hammer and an axe uh, keep following this road around. It looks like we've got a potential of a a town, maybe, up ahead. We just need to find somewhere small. 
with not too many windows and doors. We've got a few uh, few cars over here. Cars with colour, which is good, because that means they're, well, sort of operatable. Um, it lets you know what's broken on them. So let's go and have a look. So as you can see, you can interact. You can get in the cars. You can see if there's anything been left behind. I can sit in the front seats. Obviously in the driver's seat look. Now as you can see at the bottom we have fuel um but the engine is broke. So is the looks like the fan belt, something else to do with lighting and spot plugs. But what we can do is if we get out, you go to the engine front, now we can take out the spark plugs and the oil filter from this one and let's say if you've got another car and you can see what it needs so we can put the spark plugs in that car and the oil filter so all that one's missing is a fan belt that's it and one spark plug and then that one's up and running right let's grab the scrap metal while we're here and those burnt out ones it doesn't let you interrupt with the engine so that's fine here we go so what's this place uh, oh look at that black island used cars perfect now as you can see there's a nice variety of cars you've got pickup truck uh, jeep and normal car as well we should be able to make at least one of these work that one's missing quite a bit right oh, I've got no space in my inventory right okay let's uh Let's craft a few things and see if it will take up and free some space. Campfire. Let's do some more canteens. Um, planks. We're going to need planks. We need a lot of planks. Right. Now then. Here we go, so if we take the spark plugs and the radiator. And we'll take the starter engine from there and the spark plugs. And then we put them into here. Right, we need a fan belt. Ah, oh, speak of the devil. Right, now there's only four of 20 fuel, so it might get somewhere. There we go. It's alive! I got an achievement. It's alive, it says. Right. Um, the reason why there's so many vehicles in this game is for the sheer fact that uh, you can actually use them. Oh, can I turn off? Uh, 
no, there's one turn off. Um, you can use the cars like and hook up like the car battery and stuff to generators to houses and you can use them to power houses um, so I need I could do with a fuel canister now this is a car place you'd think there'd be one around Yeah, as you can see, it says on a lot of things player storage. Because what it is, rather than putting stuff down for storage, you use the items that are already in the houses, you turn them into storage, and then you put locks on them. Right. This is all the stuff I can craft on here. Granola bar, flare gun rounds, hmm, this could be an interesting place to fortify, just two windows, a door, <laughs> coming soon, <laughs> they're going to introduce arcade machines in the game, awesome, I like that. Uh, I have seen uh, Road Path and it's still on track. The last update was in May, uh, so it is a game they still update. Right. Let's see how far we can get before we conk out of gas. Definitely beats the hell out of walking. Oh, hello. I'll have to find out what key uh, disconnects the uh, the engine. And yes, yes, people, uh, you can turn these into a player home. Um, obviously just like the other cars it is drivable it just needs repairs um, obviously they're still updating some stuff so the bed is coming soon so it can be a fully fledged play home um, you can like fortify it as well I think I read I don't know if that's now or coming soon oh So yeah, so you can turn RVs into uh, into portable homes. Uh, we've got another house over there to the left. Ah, this is what we want. A nice little... Oh, we've got a junkyard, a couple of shops. Do you have to? Is it, ah, there we go. So when you get your hammer out when you're inside, look. 
you can literally put the planks anywhere and it lets you know that's a weak plank that I've got got window bars Oh, sounds like the car's just run out of fuel. Yeah. Yeah, out of gas. Although, although... Ha ha ha! It to be a jerry can. <laughs> right there we go so we have fuel now uh, I've just found out what the map button is which is pretty cool um, so we can carry on heading straight down there's a fuel petrol station just below us uh, there's also it looks like a gun store so that's probably the best place to head to uh, ready for night time so let's go over there. Oh, electricity required. Got some pliers. Oh, another jerry can. There we go. That's good, that's good. I have to keep using the gyros for now. Obviously to pump gas, yeah, you need electricity, so... Right, let's go and find that gun shop. Looks like a little car park. Little scrapyard. Just little houses, another little house. The Bad Beat Bear Bar and the Kingston Hunting. Is that is that the place? Yes it is.
<laughs> That's one way to do it. <laughs> Take the fuel out to turn the engine off. And then put it back in so it's redder. There we go. So one more option. Oh, it's just the alternator. Okay. Right, as you can see, the sun is slowly going down, so we need to hurry up and find find some bits. Oh, hello. Oh, I can't grab it from there. No. Why wouldn't it let me pick it up? Oh, inventory full. I'm an idiot. Right. Let's craft another axe. Some more nails. And some more planks. Oh, there we go. Right, so we have a gun. Oh. What have we got? We've got two doors. Okay. Uh, yes, it does get very dark at night time. Uh, once I've uh, sorted this door, I'll, uh, I shall put a campfire down. Oh, here we go. Right, so obviously it's the first night. Um, Oh, uh, you need a lock kit and screwdriver. Okay, so the door's just gonna have to be like that. Right, let's see if I can. Ah, I've got no wood. Oh, no, no, no. Now, I wouldn't normally do this in other games but if I can turn the brightness up so you can at least I don't even think you can <laughs> they're, they're all outside, Gamma. They're literally all outside.
Oh, he's come through the front. So I have to keep going. Luckily enough, this is only day one. Uh, what happens if I start? Hey, oh, Chasia. There's a turning down there, it's like a city or something to the left of there. Little town. I'm running low on water.
Yeah, so you get one or two zombies. Another gunshot round here, but there it is. <laughs> yeah, I do need a, I do need a shotgun. Morning, come on. Bring on the daytime. Oh, the light. It's like hitting rocks when you run them over. Yes, I know I'm dehydrated. At least you can actually run them over. <laughs> oh, come on, sunlight. I'm going to run out of fuel soon, I know it. Uh, hold difficulty has increased to two.
Right, let's see if we've got anything we can... Uh, Dirty water, but you know what? I'm dehydrated. This, I don't need no food. Oh no, I can't eat them because they're in cans. Okay. Right, okay. So we survived the night. Now, obviously. Day one you don't see anything, gives you time to fortify. Obviously now this is day two. And now what happens with day two is basically you're playing clean, uh, clean up. Now, from what I've read, I don't know 100% if it's true, but the zombies, like now, they're just slow, weak and don't really do anything during the day uh, okay so I'm hearing it's a lot of fun just to ammo up and turn up the amount of puppets and turn the mechs off and scum is so much better yeah, could be worth a worth a shot could definitely be worth a shot so we ain't got to worry about the mechs you need four cars around wow uh yeah might as well wear uh, might be worth giving them a a turn off Oh, is that a prison over there? Looks like a prison. Um, right. So yeah, so obviously during the day, unless you provoke them or get too close, the zombies are pretty, pretty docile. Ah, oh, 12 gauge ammo. Come on, please. Please. I'm not going to be that lucky, am I? Oh, we got a flashlight, though. A magazine. Yeah. Didn't say you can come in. <laughs> but I'll have that. I do like the shotgun. They were determined, weren't they? for one
Down to two shots. Oh, we got a uh, some sort of campfire or something over there. So yeah, so this is Survive the Night. As you can see, it's not a bad, bad little game. Uh, I would recommend it. It's actually quite fun to play, especially if you've got people to play it with as well. Uh, you're not short on zombies as well, as you can see. Obviously, day one is like a cooldown period. It gives you enough time to have a look around, collect a few bits and fortify yourself a little base. And then you get this. And then as each day goes on, it gets worse and worse. Uh, I've seen some videos of people taking on literally hundreds upon hundreds with uh, automatic assault rifles and taking over prison complexes, unleashing hell, basically. So yeah, it's definitely a, it's definitely a game if you just want something fun, interactive, quick play. I definitely recommend it. And with the uh, st the Steam Workshop add-ons as well, it just makes the fun even more more hectic and it's in steam at the moment for about three pound 14 so you've got until i think it was the 20 29th or the 30th of june is we in june yeah june uh to pick it up otherwise it does go back up to 20 pound 99 so uh a big leap up you know and let's face it overall it looks nice it plays nice uh, the physics are really well. I've uh, I've seen a lot worse out there, and I've played a lot of these survival games, and yeah, I like this one. And obviously, they've got all this stuff coming soon as well. Like, I can't wait for the uh, arcades to be set up. That'll be awesome. I swear I've just had something fly over. Let's jump in the car. We'll have one little look around. We'll go into the center of the island now. And let's just have a look to see what we can find before we head off. Because soon it will be time to hit up SnowRunner. And hopefully I don't get no issues with my stream. Otherwise uh, that's going to be an interesting one. Right, let's jump in. Let's open up the map. So we're in that town just there. Um, so it took us quite a while to drive here. So the map is quite quite decent as you can see. So this is the full map. Um, so what we got? So it looks like we've got a big town over there. Police station. Got quite a few gun shops as you go around. There's a cinema as well. A fire station. Another cinema. Oh, is that an airfield close by? Just there? Yeah. Let's go and have a look. See if uh, what's at the airfield. <coughs> But I'm loving the driving mechanics. It's like you get these survival games and the driving can be terrible. Um, the only one thing that lets me down on this game, but I, it's not too much of a big letdown, is the, obviously the fact that you can't build your own bases. I love building. Absolutely love building. Um, 
but being able to fortify a house and then go outside and put up fences and stick up barriers and that so you can at least reduce the attack on your house I like that uh, and obviously there's a lot of stuff coming soon for this game as well so we're gonna head over to the uh, to the airport and see if there's anything special over there oh and with the map Gabby as well that's just like the basic map um, I think you can get different maps in the Steam Workshop I'm not 100% sure all I know is is they're bringing out another map uh, where you can travel to it by boat and it's a prison island and it's got a massive prison on it right, are we yes we are heading in the right way might be able to take a shortcut though rather than going around the uh, long windy roads or maybe not <laughs> nope. Let's get back on the road. Come on. There we go. Oh, I've moved my marker now. That's all right. We just keep heading this way. Heading this way, and we've got another. Another gun shop. Yeah, so any of these houses, uh, every single one of them, you're able to get inside and fortify. So it's literally whatever tickles your fancy on what kind of house you want. See, in a in a strange way, seven days to die is like the same kind of thing, but you do have the research to be able to put down blocks and build your own bases. So that's where it's uh, obviously split between the two on that one. But then I think you get Daisy, and Daisy doesn't let you like really build stuff unless they've done an update to change that. That was more fortify your bases as well. Right, there's the car shop. There's the gun shop. Do we risk it? Do we go through the back door? That's what I like about these shops. They all have back doors. Oh, well, we got some rounds. Flare gun. Another handgun. I can hear that plane again. Sounds like a plane or a helicopter. Oh, I left the engine on, so obviously they're attracted to the sound. <laughs> Quick, 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 quick. <laughs> Obviously, I don't want to run over too many zombies because uh, your car does have health. And I don't want to damage it to the point where I can't drive it. Not until we've gone and checked out this airport, anyway. I think that's the turn off. Yes, it is.
Right, here we go. So is this the entrance? There's a gate to get in. Hello? Interesting. Obviously, power the door, open up locked doors. So I do like how it's got broken planes on the actual airfield and it's not just enter. I do like that. Looks like there's a big one over there as well. That seems interesting because it's a hangar but See, everything here works if you've got electricity. Oh, 
obviously I've got nothing to put into it though. Obviously, it looks like there is some hidden secrets at the airport, but obviously we need electricity to get it bumped up and started. So that's what you'd do, you'd park outside and you'd hook up into the um, extension out here. To give this place power. Small warehouses. quite a few weapons And you have noticed my water and food goes down really slow as well, which is good. You only eat enough 
for a day, it says. So you eat once a day, you drink once a day. Look at that, I've still got health is fine. Ah, oh, you can click search for health and it shows you what you've got that will recover health. Bandages give you further. Sickness and feeling well, you've become sick by eating uncooked or ranted items. Make sure you check the sickness chance before consuming overall won't increase your sick find medicine or eat stews to decrease sickness my mental health is average my overall each morning overall health is recalculated based on your previous days management of stats calories need to be filled hydration needs to be managed you cannot be sick and mentally health needs to be average or above all right there we go so not a bad game not a bad game at all i'm going to head off now i'm going to grab myself something to eat before i start my stream with mr wombat and I shall catch everyone again soon. But thanks for tuning in. Take care. Oh, and I'll see you again.